in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen consecration to saint joseph day 3 joseph spouse of the mother of god on march 19th the church celebrates the solemnity of saint joseph but we do so by reference to his being the spouse of the blessed virgin mary in fact saint joseph's whole life is defined by his relation to others he is the earthly father of jesus and the husband of mary the feast day celebrates his fidelity and courage in fulfilling his obligations to each of them where some group broadcast their own virtue from the rooftops via social media saint joseph is more of a nike man he just does it he is a great counter witness to modern obsessions with autonomy saint joseph is the quiet man of action and his actions are oriented to the will of god whatever vision he may have had of his life was radically altered that night when the angel appeared to him in a dream joseph son of david do not be afraid to take mary your wife into your home for it is through the holy spirit that this child has been conceived in her she will bear a son and you are to name him jesus because he will save his people from their sins gospel of matthew chapter 1 verses 20 and 21 after this vision we are told that when joseph woke up he did what the angel told him having contemplated a life without mary he now sees that being mary's husband and raising a child not biologically his own will be his future jesus is the son of god and the second person of the trinity mary is the mother of god and the mother of the church and joseph is remembered in relation to them joseph's greatness is to be found in his willingness to let mary and jesus be who they should be like john the baptist he decreases so that they may increase let us pray saint joseph pray that i may imitate your selflessness and set aside my own ambitions for the will of god so that you may increase and i may decrease litany of saint joseph lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us saint joseph pray for us noble offspring of david pray for us light of patriarchs pray for us spouse of the mother of god pray for us chaste guardian of the virgin pray for us foster father of the son of god pray for us zealous defender of christ pray for us head of the holy family pray for us joseph most just pray for us joseph most chaste pray for us joseph most prudent pray for us joseph most courageous pray for us joseph most obedient pray for us joseph most faithful pray for us mirror of patience pray for us lover of poverty pray for us model of workman pray for us glory of domestic life pray for us guardian of virgins pray for us 
pillar of families pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us hope of the sick pray for us patron of the dying pray for us terror of demons pray for us protector of the holy church pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us he has made him lord of his household and prince over all his possessions let us pray o god who in your loving providence chose blessed joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven whom on earth we venerate as our protector you who live and reign forever and ever amen today's challenge examine how willing you are to put aside your own plans and ambitions and like saint joseph quietly seek to serve the needs of others first all glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen